Here is how I use ChatGPT for qualitative data analysis, thematic analysis. First, I explain to ChatGPT what initial coding is. It's very important to code your data. You could just ask it for thematic analysis, but the result will not be great. You do have to code your data to make it systematic and make sure that ChatGPT does not miss anything. So I explain what initial codes are, and then I asked it to create an Excel file for the transcript where on the left-hand side there is a transcript and on the right-hand side there are the codes. Now I either paste the transcript or upload the transcript and what it does, it creates an Excel file just like I asked it to. And this is the file with codes and your transcript. You can drag it to the right to see the codes separately and the transcripts separately. You can change the code colors if you want and this is the result. Then I paste or upload another transcript and repeat the process. Exactly same prompts. It gives me the Excel file and I do the same with the file. Eventually when I'm ready with all the files, depending on how many interview transcripts I had, I explain that I will upload these files and I wanted to create focus coding, which is stage two of coding. So I wanted to take all the codes from each file, just easier this way because ChatGPT likes Excel files, uh, to take all the codes and organize them into groups depending on the topics. And this is exactly what it's doing here. So it's a really good example of focus coding. These are the initial codes organized into groups. So this is stage two. And now depending on whether you want any control over your data or not, you can either start working on these and develop themes from these groups. So looking at these groups and your research questions and trying to decide how uh, these codes, these groups of codes answer your research questions. So reorganizing these into themes, or you can just take all of that stuff again and ask ChatGPT to develop themes. And at this stage, you would also share your research questions with it. So this is how you do it. If you want to learn more, I have this ebook in which I share all the prompts and describe the exact process.